Hey, hi guys. Hey, we're off to another new journey. And we're off to Cedarburg, Wisconsin again. Uh, last time we were up at Cedarburg, it was uh, just the end of winter, getting into spring, and uh, the trees weren't in blossom or, or uh, even starting to get green yet. And uh, I thought I was going to introduce what Cedarburg is all about because they have this big festival that they have up here, and it draws thousands of people. And uh, today we're here, and I'm going to show you the festival. And I got my daughter with me, and uh, we're going to journey in and show you what's going on. It's uh, pretty much all arts and crafts and stuff. Uh, no flea markets allowed here. Uh, there's a lot of stuff with strawberries, uh, a lot of things you can taste and, and eat, and stuff that pertains to strawberries, uh, what I hear. So I hope you enjoy the film. So. Uh, before you get on any further, uh, hit that thumbs up right now, get that out of the way. And if you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. So let's get on and we'll take you around Cedarburg. All right. Okay, we're heading out. Here's just one street. You know, you can't find one parking spot. You know, you got to actually go into the areas where they have facilities to park and then you got to pay to park in the parking lots. We're here. It's if you can find a spot on the street, it's free. And also, not coming up on the pony ride. For the kids got extra other activities here too as well. Oh, I got one thing I'll show you here. Wow. <laughs> this is my daughter, Michelle. She's with me today. She took me down over to Cedarburg, or up to Cedarburg, I should say. Uh, she's nice enough to take me. Uh, as you all know, I'm still looking for a car to drive. And uh, I got my lovely daughter here to take me to enjoy myself today. So let's journey on and see what we got to look at. All right. Well, they even have a band shelter here. Nothing really going on right now at this time. I'm sure later on it will be. You know, so. They have a little train thing, tractor train thing. Oh, yeah. The little kids. Face paint. All kinds of things to offer. So we're in the park right now, pretty much. We're walking downtown. Get ready to see the crafts. Real insect jewelry. So you want to help the beetle? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, they're buzzing. Oh, that's pretty neat. Can you do that big one again? Sure. Wow. That's pretty neat. Not the one you want to hear camping. <laughs> That's quite an invention you got there. <laughs> Does she? We're all sounds you hear in the in the, in the ponds, you know. Oh yeah. They're very accurate. 
Yeah. yeah. They don't really come to you, but they won't surf back. <laughs> That's realistic there. I live right next to a pond. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. I hear that all night long. <laughs> <laughs> it's a peaceful sound. Oh, it is. It's beautiful. Beautiful area. Yeah, this is like what they call the kids section that we're in right now, where it's all children related stuff. It's supposed to be. They got different things in here though. Yeah, this whole town is just all filled with crafters. You can see across the street there now, we're going over there. That's a parking lot, and they got that all totally packed full of vendors. So let's take a walk over there. Yeah, we got a little different type of wrought iron here. Something I'm very familiar with. Got a little differently. They're just entering the parking lot now and you can see how big everything is in here. Vendors everywhere. It's just a huge festival. Some beautiful, beautiful woodworking here. <laughs> Got some beautiful work here. <laughs> That'll take a long time to do this, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, the pieces uh, they range from let's say three hours to over twenty. Really? Yeah, they're all hand cut. Yeah, I imagine. I had a cousin that used to do this, not not as nice as you, but he was working with a scroll saw and he made just little things, you know. And okay. It, yeah. it uh, he did okay with it, but he didn't uh, saw a lot. Of it. He was just like a. I have a lot of fun. I'm retired now, so. I, you know, yeah. yeah. You gotta have something to do. No, it's just beautiful stuff. Thank you. I really, really appreciate you letting me videotape. Thank you very much. No problem. Have a great day. Okay. Okay, folks, one of the things that you notice that your videotape and craft fairs, a lot of the times you end up where uh, people get down on you for videotaping because they don't want you to steal their ideas. That's what they think you're doing. So it's really polite to ask before you start videotaping. Just the thought of the day. There's a familiar sight that I've seen many times, the tide eyes. Didn't even know they were doing that anymore. They're even doing the hoodies.
Yeah, it's pretty neat. Skirts for women. Okay, folks, I just got permission. This guy, this guy makes cribbage boards. Really pretty cool. Got a lot of them here. My daughter talking to him. That's kind of neat how like, all these TV trees got the cribbage holes in them. It's pretty cool. Do some fine work. The different types of wood that are really unique. You just got a nice cool day for it. Yeah. Yep. As long as it doesn't rain. Yeah, that's the big thing always. Every time you plan a festival, it all seems to rain. Right. Yeah. How'd you do yesterday? I was happy. That's good. Yeah, I've been out of for out of it for 15 years. You know. No, no, I uh, I did uh, starving artist paintings. Okay. I used to sell them for years. I meant this. Oh no, this is just something I do for a hobby. Okay. You know, it's a YouTube thing. And then, uh, I like to go around with the state of Wisconsin promoting different things to do. A lot right. of people come into the state, they don't know where to go. Right. Right. You know, so uh, I got people from different countries that come over and, you know, okay. looking for places to go, you know, so, yeah, my name is James Sweet, in case you want to check okay. out my channel, you know, right. you'll see yeah. this video. i give you this. Okay. Then you can. Okay, as you can see, folks, people are just coming like crazy. Streets are all closed, every street in town. Gigantic. It's one of the biggest shows in the state of Wisconsin, I think. Everybody talks about Cedarburg, doing a craft show. If you're a crafter, this is the place to do it. We won't allow any flea market items. You gotta make this stuff yourself. This is a jury show. It means you gotta send slides in, for them, or slides or pictures of you actually making the stuff. Just look at the crowds. This is just one corner. The street going that way, nothing but white tents. You pan down this way. This is the main drag going through town. You can see way out there. Sign. The banner across the street just keeps going and going. But this is the sidewalk I walked down uh, just before spring got here, showing Cedarburg. There wasn't much stuff going on. Yeah, everywhere you go, there's food too, besides. I got something I'm gonna to try to get here real quick. They're right over this way. Let's see our first strawberries. See you guys. Hi, how are you ladies Hi. doing today? Oh, first strawberries you've seen so far. <laughs> they look really nice. Uh, spinners made out of steel. Oh. 
never know what you're going to see at a craft fair. Look at all the time that goes into that. It's pretty incredible. A lot of work goes into that. Strawberry bubble tea, five dollars. Go get Michelle. Where you go? I paint Wisconsin, Lake Mills, Wisconsin. Got some beautiful paintings in here. At the Rivoli Theater, still going. Not many theaters that are downtown left anymore. Great job. There's a banner we should have started out with, but we were quite a ways park. That's uh, 20th through 23rd. Daughter buying a chocolate strawberry. <laughs> oh, you get chocolate all over your face. <laughs> That's what it looks like close up. A chocolate strawberry. Ready to get devoured. Here's a crowd way up high. Pull it away over my head. Just keeps going and going.
Those are cute. <laughs> See how far it goes down yet? We're only about halfway, just on one street, just the main drag. This is kind of funny. I don't call these a craft. Brand new cars. But it's great. No fish made out of coconuts. Quite a craft. It's amazing what you see and find. <laughs> like crabs. There's a mean looking one. You got spines on it. You came in off a green field where Polly's is. The back part. I'm like 10 feet on the right hand side. You come in from the front, you got to go past the expo building. You got to go past the expo building. Take care. Thank you. This one looks like Bob. Just amazing. Oh, well, another batch of strawberries here. out the door fast. Beautiful looking strawberries. That's a strawberry lady here. Looks like a statue. <laughs> Incredible. She's doing a great job. <laughs> and 
Then we're off again. What you think of that strawberry lady? Was she incredible? She just stands there. It takes a lot of concentration to look like you're a statue instead of a real person. That's pretty incredible. Well, we're moving on down here now. A few while before we get to the end. I don't know how well this is going to pick up, but this is so much for who we are is where we have been. It's a hand-carved item, and it had to take a lot of work to make it all made out of wood. Well, another booth with uh, chocolate dipped strawberries. Get a little better look at the display. Scenes, what goes on? Strawberry shortcake and deliver. Iron works here. A lot of work putting them together. Yeah, peacocks, beautiful. 165 bucks. Own it today. Sweet corn made out of steel. It's very interesting. All these unusual things you see that you normally don't see. It years ago at the craft shows. Yeah, wow. only $14.95 each. It's not a bad price. Wow, what a camera that is. Thank you. I love my camera. All different stuff made out of steel. I like some of the stuff because my brother's in this very, pretty big. He never make this kind of stuff. Takes a lot of time and work. Ooh, another glimpse of something different. You like that one? I do. <laughs> well, here's the way you make ice cream. John Deere. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, it finally made the end of the street here on this particular one. Looking back, <laughs> long ways down there. Shamrocks, paw prints, everything like that. Wow. Whatever mm -hmm. people want. It's all custom. Oh, yeah. Here, give me one of the cards. Mm -hmm. 
purchase the, uh, the stones and engrave them. And then we put some uh, chemicals in there, some epoxy, so the lettering stands out. Oh, nice. How long do you think a stone like that would last you? Quite a while. <laughs> I don't get really any returns, so. Yeah. <laughs> We had one in our backyard that cracked and cracked us and we stepped on it. Oh. Otherwise, it should last. You know, yeah, one in your front yard has been good for years. Oh, yeah. That's been good for 10 years. Right. Wow. That was a little thicker. So where does all this come from, all this, the, ro the rock? Uh, Different areas? or? Yeah, I think somewhere up in Wisconsin, I think. Uh -huh. Now, yeah. is this like shale rock or something? It's flagstone. Oh, flagstone. Yeah. Flagstone. Okay. So it's soft enough to carve in with diamond you know, bits. How would shale work? I think shale might break too easily. It crumbles, it, don't it? It would crumble and split. Yeah. yeah. This doesn't split as much. But yeah, I got a, a YouTuber yeah. that I watched that saw out in the New York area. Mm -hmm. and it's all shale out there. Right. You right. can't really dig a basement out hitting shale. Right. And it's just terrible. You have to dynamite it out. You got to air, air hammer it. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty it's incredible. Yeah, dynamite to get my basement put in. Oh, yeah? Because mm -hmm. yep. we're uh, at literally six feet. There's that rock. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so that's why we have dead land. And you've got to go down. We're the only ones with... with you got to go down at least eight feet. Right? Yeah, we're the, we're the only ones with basement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody's still up on our That's my dad, I'm sorry. He's, he's a YouTuber. <laughs> You're supposed to ask. It's I did. all on Facebook. Okay. I got all these pictures and some on Facebook. I asked his wife and she said it was okay. Oh, okay. So. All right, sorry. <laughs> got some beautiful stuff here. Thank you. Gorgeous. This is one show that you see a lot of unusual things. That's the nice part. It's all the unique stuff. And that's what they strive for up here, is they want it all handmade and everything else. And that's why it's nice. That's why you get the people here. Yes. That you get. Something different. Oh, it's amazing how many people there is here. Yes. I mean, we came in, uh, we had a hard time finding a spot to park. Then you should have been here yesterday. I'll bet. You could have moved here yesterday. Saturday's always the best day. Well, the weather was nice. Tea dish and dog dishes. <laughs> 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 
Now here's the food court. This is the street saw food. Give you an idea. There's plenty of food here to eat. But where you go, there's something to eat. Everyone lined up to get pizza. Take your vaccine here. Very busy. See what we have smell of it. A steel guitar, right? How many hours you got in this? Well, for the for this one, yeah, probably thirty or more. I guess that's not that bad. It's crazy. <laughs> it's Looks lot. beautiful. Yeah, it's not beautiful, that bad. Right? Said, I, I think like, I think it's a lot. lot. Yeah. What's it weigh? Fifty-five pounds. That's it. That's yeah. it. Oh, you've got a Harley thing on the bottom. Everybody says that too. That's it. Yeah, this is made of a lot of Harley parts. Like that's from Harley. That's from Harley. That's from Harley. That is. I got a buddy that works at a dealership, so he throws parts in a bin for me. And Very cool. Calls me up when it's cool. So. Nice work, man. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that one. It's in the bottom left corner. What's that for? YouTube or something? Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay. One fancy camera. Thank you. Wow, it's like nice. way fancy, like, am I going to be on TV or something? Like, like, you already are. Live streaming. <laughs> right. Live streaming right well, I'm not YouTube. live streaming. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just kidding, I know. <laughs> Excuse me. I'd have to have a lot more equipment to do that. <laughs> you got some beautiful stuff here. Thanks. Here comes the rain. Oh, I'm great. Ready. Can't let you get this wet. See, there's all, all those rains for festivals, don't it? Say that again. It always rains for festivals. Yeah, we've, we've made it all pretty good the last couple of years. A little bit of rain doesn't hurt, though. No. Hey, do you want to come sit? You want to bring that one in? Bring that one in. bring people into the tent. Well, there's going to be enough room in the tent. You want that in? No, no, no. He'll do it. No, thank you so much. So, how do you guys like it? I thought it was kind of fun, a little tiring, <laughs> a lot of walking in. Uh, you can't hardly really do this in one day. There's so much to see, uh, street after street of vendors and stuff. But I hope we were able to show you the highlights of what I thought was unusual on some of the crafts that we had seen that we haven't seen at normal craft, craft fairs around Wisconsin. But this has got to be one of the best shows that I've seen. Uh, I've never been at this uh, Strawberry Fest in my life. I've heard a lot about it and I just had to come up with my daughter and she brought me up here to check it out. So it's starting to rain again so we're going to have to get going. So guys, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe if you're brand new to my channel. Hit that thumbs up. I appreciate it and leave some comments. So until, until next time, we'll see you on the next video. Alright, see you later. Bye.